Uh, yeah, we can go in and jump into the judgment stuff because it's actually super interesting. It was a, I forgot to drag this up into the higher priority news stories for whatever yeah, reason. This is a very interesting it companion is. to the story we just talked about. Yeah. Let's Fucking. See. Um, I'll I'll gonna read the story yeah. off. Uh, let's see. The upcoming title, Lost Judgment, might wind up being the last game of the series due to disagreements between the game's publisher, Sega, and the talent agency that represents the actor Takuya Kimura, who plays the leading role within the title. Uh, the specific reason behind the disagreement is an odd one, as Sega wants to put the game on Steam, and the agency doesn't. Uh, while this may at first come off as a general tendency of Japanese developers and companies simply being adverse to PC platforms, uh, something that's been dying off in recent years, there's more of an initiative, uh, the real reason is beh behind it is tied to some particularly strict policies that the talent agency set forth in its contract, such as a stipulation that the game won't be on PC. Uh, the logic behind this being that the talent agency doesn't want Takuya Kimura's character to be modded on PC, as uh, many in our audience might be aware yeah. that nude mods are increasingly prevalent nowadays, um, as they always have been, but you know, there's meme culture and whatnot now, so they do not want their, um, they don't want their talent being modded and used in a way that they did not sign off on. That yeah. is the exact reason for it. Which is, I'll be honest, a fair one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, was, I had my eyebrow raised that entire story until you got to that part. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, something that a, a good friend of mine said, you know, um, if you're going to be in a game, just expect the dick's going to be in your mouth. That's just... I couldn't have said it better the, myself. Yeah. It's, the name of the, it's the name of the business. It's like, it's like, I'll sit here all day and viciously chastise people for like let's say making porn of child car ch children's cartoons and not properly tagging shit or of children's cartoons with predominantly child characters i've said it so many times but as far as like adult media i don't like when miss i can't say it any better than what miss han said well, just expect a dick in your mouth at some point or not a <laughs> dick a vag or anything in between i mean but also even with with console stuff couldn't they do, uh, it's going to take a lot more work, but they can still mod it. It's just Absolutely. not going to be like as widespread. You oh, can yeah. just download Absolutely. whatever. They can take your picture. They can take the model out. They can do all sorts of shit. It's right. basically a bunch of old Japanese uh, businessmen or business people, I'll say, because I don't want to assume. Just being like, no, that's not right. Was, no. Wasn't there a thing? Kinds of issues, especially, I mean, with like, with that level of modding and, and and interactions with with talent agencies and stuff that's just something you're going to run into when you start uh, casting these high profile actors i mean mm -hmm. uh Takuya kimura he's a huge actor in japan he's been a big actor since like the late he was an years. idol as well wasn't he like a yeah, really popular he was one a musician and an actor since like i mean the late 80s till now he's a huge actor over there. Mm -hmm. Uh, for what it's worth, um, yeah. th this game is on PC. We're, we're going to have to talk about Cyberpunk a little yeah. bit. Uh, Keanu Reeves, there was a nude mod that came out for... Um, or, I'm sorry, let me preface it. There, there was a mod that you could get into a heterosexual relationship with one of the characters who was a lesbian in the game. And that kind of, you know, that's kind of gross, goes against the character's yeah. wishes and whatnot. Uh, but there was... And, and that's still... I believe you can still download it. Um, but there was a mod that would allow you to sleep with uh, Keanu Reeves' character. There's also a nude mod for it, I believe. And that got taken down, like, almost immediately. And that yeah. was basically chalked up to uh, Keanu Reeves' contract. says, like, hey, you can't bang me, and you can't have me nude in your game. Um, so yeah. uh, CD Projekt Red was kind of quick to kind of stomp that out. Like, it's It's this... It's a complicated situation for a lot of things because it's like the base, the, the most general idea I can lay it out as is that it's just not cool to sexualize actual people yeah. in general. It's not cool to make like photographically realistic pornography of real ass people. It's not okay. Yeah. It's stalkerish. It's really gross. When I say, when I mirror what Miss Hun said, or rather what Miss Hun's friend said, I'm not saying. Well, I don't think any of us mean that as like a, and that's it means it's okay. We're like, well, no, it's no, people are going to do not. that shit. And I don't, and I understand. It's like taking I would understand your car. No, exactly. But at the same time, I understand the logic of like, if this is going to happen, we don't want to be involved. But I don't think 
you having it on Steam is the answer. Is like don't have it on Steam or don't have it on PC is not the answer. That's cutting your nose off to spite your face. Yeah. If anything, what it should be is Sega should have some things in place of like if those mods do start popping up. I don't know, like ha- either I, I, I not I usually don't suggest this lightly, but like start slinging out those cease and desists if that's what you need to do to protect that person, mm-hmm. or if it's using someone's likeness, if it's not a cease and desist, because necess- I don't think it's called a cease and desist, but I know at least in North America in the United States law, if you if you, if you, you can't take a picture of a person specifically, you cannot use a person's likeness without the permission. And part and parcel, you can't use if they've agreed to let their license to something, you can't take that and reuse it and repurpose it if it's specifically their likeness. If it's a cartoon character, that's murky. If it's an actual person's face, you can sue. It's I know people who have actually gotten shit shut down, like people who are stalking them online specifically because of like copyright law that it was pictures of their face and shit. Mm -hmm. The things I've seen done to Stephanie Justin. Oh, geez. remind me who uh, Stephanie the actress, the is. actress Quiet. from Quiet from yeah. Metal Gear Solid. 5. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. beyond just like Rule Thirty Four. That's a deep fake, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a that's deep fake. Awesome. That's not even a deep fake. That's just like straight fucking up. What it is? No, yeah, that's like, and I can completely understand them wanting to put as many layers in front of that as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I agree. I don't think this is the, the this, this is the move. I don't think this is the move. No. Yeah. It's, um, it's, I, uh, it's not as simple as recasting him either. Like, uh, no, it's not. An actor that big, like obviously to a Western audience like us, it's not as big a deal to have that actor in particular and have his likeness. But to the, like the Japanese crowd that plays that game, it is a really big deal that he's in it. Let's not beat around mm-hmm. the bush. The main target demographic is that yeah. crowd, and they're the, the ones who are going to be The demographic are the people who are like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, I like this actor. I'll pick this game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not even you, just Yakuza fans. I, I think it basically comes down to what Blaine said. Just like this is like a very overstepping method of... They can't do. They, there is stuff they can do. They can do the CD project thing where they do try to actively stomp it out if it does happen, which it, pro- it is going to happen. But especially with with Yakuza, they're, they're trying to get into more of a Western demographic. They've had a huge push on Xbox. They they want their games on Steam, and it, the series is like seen a crazy freaking uh, revitalization specifically because of that. Um, yeah. it, it 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 also reminds me of this happened with. I believe the first was Judgment. I, I, I can be wrong. I believe Mace re- recalls it. It was either Judgment or Yakuza 4, where the person they cast for a uh, character. Both. 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 Yeah. Both. So yeah, I'll, 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 both. I was going to get into that if you two yeah. didn't get into it. Yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll talk about the Yakuza 4 one. So, Yakuza 4 came out. It was fine, whatever. Um, the actor got involved in like some kind of drugs or something. So, like. Okay. So for the yeah. there you go, um, but so for the remaster they did a couple years back, they just completely recast and they don't want to have anything to do with him. Like typically, yeah. like American companies, they don't fucking bother. It's whatever. Someone does coke, what whatever. They they don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, just completely recast him, and uh, yeah. I believe believe a very similar thing happened with um, or Mesa. If you want to go with this, you probably know more of the details for Judgment. I don't. Oh, okay. Well, for what at least I recall, uh, it was uh, the, like they actor, or one of the top build actors in Judgment uh, was arrested and and brought to trial over I don't know if it was a trial or whatever. He's arrested for possession of cocaine and like I mean drugs like that over in Japan is like if if a mm-hmm. major figure is found of them like that they're not a major figure anymore. They they yeah, they're fade blacklisted. Away. Like you, they're blacklisted by by like any talent agency or any oh, it's so frustrating them, which is incredibly frustrating especially it's... when he's in a game playing a member of the yakuza <laughs> it, yeah. it's such it's such like a polar opposite to like hollywood and its entire yeah. culture it's just like we can just assume basically everyone's on fucking cocaine. drugs mm-hmm. i've only I'm heard good. sorry miss on you go no my, my my point didn't matter it's fine if you go i think your I've point only... always matters mesa I've only heard of one All points like, matter. known person in Japanese off. media. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking hate you, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is this is when we mute my son's microphone and remove him from the call. <laughs> Oh my god. No, no, um, just a sly little clever way you whisper that in your microphone. We were just <laughs> talking he, about this. And, 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 to hear it. and the <laughs> small smirk that he makes, knowing that oh. like... Oh. We were just talking about this. Mesa is entirely too fucking smooth. He'll just drop it and, and just oh. wait for that fucking bomb to go off. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm gonna try and save this now. The only person in Japanese media that I can think of that like actually didn't completely lose their career permanently was the singer uh, Yasuyuki Okamura. Um, for those of you who don't know him, he fantastic musician, fantastic singer, fantastic dancer. He's most probably well known in the West for doing the Space Dandy opening theme, and I believe multiple songs within Space. Definitely one song in Space Dandy. I want to say multiple, but I know for sure one. Um, he was arrested for... Sorry, I'm double-checking the wiki right now. Um, he had a career like as early as the 80s. He was arrested for possession of stimulants in 2003. In 2005, he was arrested for attempting to use cocaine in a Shibuya record store bathroom, which I just want to say, anti whatever the opposite is of a shout-out to the dumb motherfucker who saw like a popular music star doing coke in a bathroom went, I'm going to snitch on this bitch. Like, fuck you. Um, and in 2007, he managed to have a comeback, and he is now still a successful musician and dancer. He just did a collab with uh, Daiko, who is the person who worked with Teddy Lloyd on Me, 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 as well as other things. And um, they did like the opening song to a new anime by from the dude who made uh, Trigun. I know that sounded like I just did a big disjointed, disconnected thing, but I promise you it's accurate. Um, but yeah, no, like he had, it's why if you look at his like discography, there's this giant fucking gap of work yeah. and like, I legitimately can't think of anyone else who has actually come back from that. And it, 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 it's just, especially when you think about like, I think, I'm pretty sure my boyfriend put it this way once. Like when you think about like the entertainment industry and how things like stimulants, like cocaine and stuff like that, um, are just so ingrained in those industries and i, I again I, I don't personally want to pretend like i know how the japanese industry uh, film industry idol industry whatever works but it's just it, it to when you have this essentially this thing that can blacklist you like you can get you like bleh, basically the point you guys started making you can have that shit to get you completely ripped out of a game like you never existed but you can be you can then be you can be the fucking creator of Veroni Kenshin and get arrested for having child pornography. I was bring that oh, yeah. up. Yep. Yep. I was gonna bring fine. that up. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. And you can you be get, you get you get uh get back out there a little scamp as they you ruffle your hair and fine. slap you on the way out. A couple out. years later, you're back in Shonen Jump. Yeah. Jesus you can be the creator Christ. of Toriko, also get child child pornography, and you can have Ichiro Oda, the creator and artist and writer of One Piece, defend you online, Water and then everyone pretends you didn't do it. Yeah, you know, Blaine, if you if you decide to get addicted to cocaine, and then you come, you want to come back on the show, I'd welcome you back on. That's right. It decided yeah. to get addicted to cocaine. That's, yes. how, that's how it works. That, yeah. That's how you do it. You, you go to the cocaine you store. You're like, please, sir, can I have one crippling addiction, please? I already oh, smoke I a lot of weed, so I think that's Let's enough. See, but, yeah. See if, uh, well, I would be smoking oh, a lot oh, of weed if I could. Oh, tangent, tangent. Um, why am I getting license. YouTube ads about fucking rehabilitation for marijuana? Like, like <laughs> legit, just like, have you? Has your life been <laughs> severely crippled by a marijuana addiction? Because people, people don't understand the difference between a chemical addiction and a personal reliance. <laughs> How many marijuanas have you injected in your veins today? Yeah, I, yeah. I was. I'm so drugstore. I injected. Fella, it looks like uh, <laughs> looks like the fella from Resident Evil Four, and he says, "You want some cocaine? The first box is free." And he gives you a box of cocaine, and then you immediately become addicted. And you come mm -hmm. back to him, and he says, "The second box is four thousand dollars." You're like, no. <laughs> No, well, I'm addicted. That's, that's how drugs work. Yeah, exactly someone did try. Someone did try to sell me cocaine by that uh, 7-Eleven by your house. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Like, what? You just <laughs> went in to get something? Like, were they outside? Were they? It's yeah, they're outside. And like, it took me a while to realize what they were asking. Like, it was. 
Uh, dude, no, I don't no, even no. pay those dudes any. No, I, no, I'm good. When people you talk to me, I just fucking walk on past. I don't give a fuck. Well, sometimes they have side quests, and you know, yeah. it's nice to do them. <laughs> even if you end up canceling the side quest halfway through, it's worth seeing what it could have been. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to mainline this, Mesa. I don't got time for for repeat side quests. Like, good. Like legit, the guy uh, I spoke okay. to the guy's like, "Hey, can you buy me some cigarettes?" The guy in there doesn't like me. I was like, "Sure." Is there? <laughs> That's how it's. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a side quest. Mesa, <laughs> if, if you're playing something like Fallout, there's no reason to to take these drugs. They do nothing for you. Why would you do that? <laughs> When I when I was ni- when I turned nineteen and that was the legal smoking age in New York, uh, the first side quest of my life opened up when my manager, who is like fifteen or sixteen, was like, "Hey, will you go buy me cigarettes?" And I bought him cigarettes. Well, he might have been seventeen. I don't know, but still, he was. I shouldn't have done what I did, but I did it. <laughs> Statute of limitations. Yeah, <laughs> they can't ask my mom to testify against me. But let's do one more news story. <laughs> That was a joke. Don't actually accept that as legal advice. Oh shit! I Everyone have a hook, who, who's if, in in law school, so I can give legal advice. Just so you know. if 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 you need cigarettes, but the cashier doesn't like you, hit up Mesa. I guess I don't know. As long as you, can, what, what what's what's the smoking age now in California? Twenty one. Is it? Yeah, it's twenty one. It's not eighteen. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, it did go cool. up. Oh yeah, I forgot. They should be twenty one, and drinking age should be eighteen. <clears throat> it just got uh, more expensive here, and then the fees for it go towards some some shit. Hopefully, it doesn't get Maybe funny more. like they do in Australia. How How is they it do funny in Australia? in Australia? They just show you like destroyed body parts, and like this is what you do. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the way to go about it, right? <laughs> It, it doesn't seem to affect it that much. So you're telling me that the, that the fucking well, they, that's because they live in hell. They're used to shit. Hold being on, fucked up. hold on. You're, you're you're telling me that the fucking joke from Clerks, directed by Kevin Smith, where a dude is in a in a, in a convenience store and pulls out a fucking diseased lung, is now an actual thing that happens in convenience stores in Australia. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, Australia is fucking based. Uh, based yeah. in smoke. Based in disease pills. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs>